This is partially going to be like a guide, a beginner's guide kind of, or hey, tips. Over here. Once you come from the tutorial area, or the first Mika, you want to come to this one. You want to do your quest, your main quest. You want to go all. You want to follow the main quest all around. But like in between, you want to do some of the side quests and some of the other quests that I give you, just for more XP to level up faster. And then another thing is there's the map helps you out. And then another one is the cooking. Cooking is relatively easy. If you don't know how, you could just pull your cooking thing up, and it'll tell you right here. Or it'll tell you here, and then depending on what you want to cook, it tells you how to cook it. And yeah, so as for cooking and for the main store in line, you can come to these hunt guys or like Curse Shin one. to do like quests for killing certain amount, certain mobs or monsters. He doesn't give you too much XP, so I don't suggest doing him in later games or early games. Definitely do him because. You get uh, XP faster, just 2,000 XP. Not terrible for uh, early start. Um, next, I want to talk about flying. So let me get up here and show you guys the flying methods. Okay, so once you get here, first off, I want to talk about the settings for your flying. People will use sensitive and strafe. I use strafe because there's another flying method you can use. I'm not sure if you can do it with sensitive, but. I know people use sensitive strafe. I use strafe. So, so normally, normal flying is just use your hands, go up, down, uh, up is up, and down is faster to the ground. So, let me get back up. I'll show you the other method that I know that I use. Cause, uh, okay, let me regen my stamina real quick. So, the other method is like you're flying, but like you're in and out of the, um, of like where it registers as you're flying while you're holding your joystick forward so like walking forward and it'll make you go further but it does it is it does take a lot of stamina so if you're level level i recommend just flying normally but if you are like i guess higher you can i mean you could do it both whatever but at lower i can recommend doing it just normal but here's how you do it so you just do this and then you want to hold your joystick forward so like this You can fly further. As you can see, when I flew down here, kind of got like right there. Now I'm over here from that. Get you a little further, but you do run out really fast. So, once again, going back. I'm not that great at it yet, but yeah, that's another flying method. So, next, I'm going to talk about crafting and getting materials. So when I get to a crappy station, I will talk about that. So, on, okay, so there's one crafting station by the Over here, Agent. third Mika. It's right here. So you have the different levels, the different weapons. So this will be mage, this will be sword. And then you'll have the level seven stuff right here, the level five stuff right here. This is what you need to craft it, and your zen is your money. So if you go to your inventory, you can see it, how much you have. You get that overall by killing monsters and opening chests. So this is what you need to build this, and then armor, and then that for the whole seven stuff. It's different for every region, I'm pretty sure. So that's crafting. It's not too hard. I'm just, I know some people don't know that you can craft. So there's that, and then once you do craft, you can get either of these, or any of these three. And you will get these two, but these to tier. Okay, so there's different ways to get the materials or ingredients to build stuff. So the first way is just killing monsters. It's like, you can go over that monster, kill it, and try and get a material, or ingredient it it's random on the drop but uh, another way is the chest you can get a bunch of stuff I mean it's dependent on the region you're in so like these will give you 
dancing spark, the the broken horns, and the broken mask. So you can take two at a time. Normally I take both crafting materials or ingredients. I don't take the um I don't, I don't take the basic enchantment dust because really once you're killing monsters and you get um gear and the gear that you don't need like I have these gloves and I have level four level thirteen gloves or one twenty seven, this is level thirteen one eighteen, so I don't need these. You can just grab these and then put them over there for uh, enhancement dust so you don't really need to grab that for um for when you're doing chests just grab the ingredients which will help you build them up faster and then for like certain ingredients like um i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's the these ones i forget what they're called hold on is the dancing spark so i'm pretty sure for dancing spark there's events around the map that you can do so like you'll have events like over there it's a starting area for dancing sparks it depends on what region you're in so if you're here you can do dancing spark if you are let's see if you are here around this area like the forest you can do essence seeds I'm not sure what you can do up here. I think it's essence seed still, but it might be different because it's the mushroom area. And I know down here is still um, the sparks, I think, I'm pretty sure. So events also give you not a ton, but like if you do them over and over, I think they give you up to five, which is pretty good. If you do five and keep doing them over and over from every one of them, you can uh, get them pretty fast. And then I will show you guys the other crafting areas, which is one's right here. Okay, so you want to come hey, this over here. You go under the tower because there's one over there it's on the tower. You want to come the one under, and she has a crafting table right here, which is these sparks that you still need. And then there's one down here so when you get here there's these two right here they're both the same thing as you can see but like right here you'll need essence seeds and then for this one you'll need essence seeds too you'll need more depending on general so you need removal and essence seeds for the sword and this one is the same exact thing and then these are the stuff you can get for it, and that's what you'll get and these are random so, to get those essence seeds, you can either get them a chest. I know the chests around here spawn a little faster, I think. At least from what I've noticed, they spawn a little faster. But, to get these, there's little events that I do to farm them faster. Uh, there's a dog event, a bow event. So, I will show you those where they are right now, real quick. Just because. So there's one right here. This one's pretty easy. This bow one right here. It's not started right now, but it'll be like right in this area. And then there'll be one down here. This way right here, where the river is. It'll be a dog one. This one I like to do more because it's I can kill them faster. It's easier because they're dogs. So those will give you essence seeds. And I'm pretty sure there's some down that way, but I haven't done any there, there yet. And then I know to get chests from materials or materials from chests is you can use your little mini map on your hand. And it'll tell you where chests are. So let's see if we can find one. But it'll like highlight a chest and it'll tell you if it's above you or below you, depending on where you are. I know there's a chest up here. We could try and see if it's there. I know there's a chest right there too. Yep, there it is. See how the chest is above me? And there's two people right here. These are good too. And they do respawn back pretty fast. So right there, you see the chest. You can get the essence seeds from here, but I recommend doing the events because they are easier to get more. And then there's one more. It's right here. This is another crafting area. Ones. 
because I need to go get the, um, go to the garden table. But, yeah. So, here we go. Okay, so, at this spot, there's another crafting station. It is... Oh. Back up and show you. It is right here on this Nevaire, I think it is. And then, as you can see, it's the one from last one, and then it'll be the one from this one. These are the swords I have currently. I have them both. But yeah. And as of crafting, I don't craft armor. I craft weapons because I feel like it's better to craft weapons, weapons than armor just to still have some crafting materials left over in the game. So I'm pretty sure you need some of the old ones for early, or later into the game. Okay. Okay, so you want to come here, which is... From the spawn all the way to that big guy right there. I have another video on how to get here, but. Okay. So you. So if you need more stamina, I have another video on this, but I'll put it in here. So you come to this uh, like statue, it's right here on the map. And then you'll come to this quest, and you'll have the etheric upgrade, which is your stamina. Right now, I'm on the fourth one. I don't know if there's more more than the fourth one. I think this is the last one. But I'll put a picture up of what the tiers look like, just because I can't find any right now. Because, you know. I'm really full. I'm not, there's not, probably none in this area, because I probably got them all. There's probably more down where I am further at. But I'll put a picture up, and then they make a little jingling sound, so when you hear them, you'll know like you're around one. And I know there's one up there, if you haven't done started this, there's one up there. And then you can collect them without like doing the, um, without having the quest. And then here's what they look like in your inventory, just if you don't know if you do or don't have any of them. So these are what they look like, they're like little shards with your inventory, but they're called the Ameris here. So that's how you get more stamina. And then how do I get more mana also, like when you cast a spell, your abilities, your skills, they are, it's right here. You just don't have to level up. It takes longer once you get later into the game, but early on it's not that hard. I know if you're a mage, you have a lot more than a swordsman. I think you start out with like a hundred or something. It's not, it's, it's pretty good. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about your chef guy. Or this guy right here so he will have quests for you to do what you can do to cook obviously you can uh, open your store and buy ingredients or you can sell stuff in your inventory which I mean I don't really recommend because you need all this to cook and eat and heal and unless you want to sell your armor for money which I don't I honestly don't think it's good enough to do because you can kill monsters and get uh, money for it so and then you just trash your or put your items into the red dust and you can get the enchantment stuff. So there's that. And then doing his quest, you might have to go around the world to do them. Or you will have to go around the world and do them. But you, when you do his quest, you're gonna have to do, get like tier three noodle cooking or tier three noodles. What you wanna do for that is just get the noodles just cook a ton of them, like I have 56 here cooked, but like, I'm pretty sure it's more than that to get tier 3. You can just cook a ton of noodles right here, and you can tear up, and then you get uh, get more of his quest. Like these ones right here, tier 3 basic noodles. I used to cook a ton more noodles to get tier 3. I'm at tier 2 right now, and I can unlock that quest. So that's pretty much cooking right there, or the chef's quest right there, pretty fast. I also have another video on this. Not in, not more in depth, but like a lot more, a lot longer than how this one was. And then, so lastly, I want to show you enchantments or like enhancement or I guess enchantment. So you want to put an item in. And you'll have it down here. It's 15, and it costs money. So this can either fail or it can work. So it's like a chance. So you either get the stuff, get the stuff you get for enchant, or enchantment, 
or you won't get it, no matter what. You but you still and you will lose this. So let's see. That's all you do. Let's see. Did it work? It did work. So let's do it again. Yeah, why not? You know? Right there, it worked again. So let's do this sword. 